Now I'll show you what I used to clear the tower on Apocalypse difficulty. I'll go through what items I choose after each floor, but I'll uh, skip the gameplay on floors where nothing uh, interesting happens, but I'll still show boss floors and other especially tough ones. I'll start with enchanting one snowball. After the first floor, I choose another enchantment point and enchant my uh, snowball enchantment to tier 2. After the second floor, I'll choose another enchantment point. After the third floor, I take yet another enchantment point and enchant snowball to the highest tier. Now after the fourth floor, I take the Starless Knight and enchant it with Guardian Strike and Sharpness. Now after the 5th floor, I take my first artifact, the Golem Kit. After the 6th floor, yet another enchantment point. Now I can enchant the Guarding Strike to level 2. After the 7th floor, I take the Iron Hide Amulet. After the 8th floor, I take the armor, reinforced mail, and enchant it with the effect, level 3. And on the 9th floor, on the power smith, I increase the power of my starless knight. And get Guarding Strike level 3. Now to the boss floor, I have my Starless Knight, Guarding Strike 3, Sharpness 1, Reinforced Mail with Deflect 3, Golem Kit, and Ironhide Amulet. stand at the right distance, you won't have to get hurt by the fire, and you can just stand there and use your melee attacks without any fear, because your deflect makes you... Now after the 10th floor, I take yet another enchantment point. Now I upgrade sharpness level 2. After the 11th floor, I take another enchantment point. That's a common theme. I take enchantment points uh, almost all the time. And I enchant sharpness to the highest level, level 3. And after the 12th floor, I take the love medallion. The love medallion is really good since its only weakness is enchanted mobs, and there are almost no enchanted mobs uh, here in the tower. And now after the 13th floor, I take the plate armor, and enchant it with cowardice.
and now after the 14th floor I change my range weapon for the first time I take the burst crossbow and I enchant it with two times infinity Now after the 15th floor, I only take an enchantment point. Now after the 16th floor, I take another enchantment point and enchant the last level of infinity and the first level of accelerate. After the 17th floor, I take another enchantment point, get Accelerate level 2. After the 18th point, another enchantment. And now I enchant the first level of few shot. Now the unique smith, I make my plate armor a unique, so I can come say full metal armor. Now before the boss fight, I enchant few shot level 2, so now for the boss, I have a guarding strike, sharpness, cover this infinity level 3, accelerate level 2, and few shot level 2. Artifacts are Golem Kit, Ironhide Amulet, and Love Medallion. After the second boss, uh, I take the double axe, enchant it with pitch level 3 and exploding level 2. After the 21st floor, I take another enchantment point and enchant the exploding to the max level. After the 22nd floor, I take another enchantment point. Come <laughs> on. 
after the 23rd floor, I take another enchantment point. After the 24th floor, I take another enchantment point. Now after the 25th floor, I take the Tempest Knife and enchant it with Guarding Strike. Guarding Strike level 3, reaching a level 3 and sharpen and critical hit level 3. After the 26th floor, I take another enchantment point and Enchant the Accelerate, level 3. After the 27th floor, I take the Wonderful Wheat and place the Iron Gong with it. After the 28th floor, I take another enchantment point and enchant the accelerate, the uh, few shot, the highest level. Then I killed the burst crossbow, hoping for anything that increases my damage. This time I got piercing level 2, which doesn't help against the boss. And now for the boss, I have a guarding strike, Level 3, Bleaching, level 3, Critical Hit, level 3, Cardis, level 3, Few Shot, level 3, Accelerate, level 3, Infinity, level 3, The Wonderful Wheat, Earnhide Demolet, and Love Medallion. And now I just walk far down to the corner of the map and start shooting. And that's the tower completed on the hardest difficulty. And from this you can get level 263 gilded items, but I sadly didn't get lucky this time, so I'll just take a random one of them. Here's a level 263 gilded item that I got earlier today.